hello. Um, back again. The uh, EPG's been it's put to one side. I'm stopped on it. Uh, just uh, must do it at the minute. I need I need to come up with an alternative heating system for the house. Uh, at present, we burn oil, and uh, got a price for oil there was uh, £200 for 300 litres. Last year, around this time, we paid £200 for 600 litres. So, <laughs> it's fairly gone up in price. And, uh, I need to get my hydrogen production up, although I'm not willing to go with electrolytes. I tried that with sodium hydroxide and, and sodium uh, KOH. If it can be done without them, th that's what I want to do. Uh, at the minute of uh, running this here, just for experimentation, that's 15 bicycle spokes. Um, just tap water. Straight out of the tap, nothing added. I need to get my head around the VIC circuit. Um, it would make a big, big difference, I think. I would even even go and get the stainless steel to to try the resin cavity, uh, the tube setup that uh, Stan Myers had. Well, like I say, right now at the minute, uh, it's sort of a need to sort out the heating system. I've been thinking about it for a while, and I think it has come to the point now where I'm going to have to. Also, tidied my shed up. I can see the floor again. Badly need lights in here. But. So that's what I'm at. I so I have not uh, give up on the EPG. Uh, in fact, I'll clear space on the bench, and I'm gonna put it up in uh, in full view to make sure that I don't forget or don't put it to the back of my mind. Like I say, there's 15 bicycle spokes and just tap water. Now, if, if I can get it to a resonant frequency, it would be interesting to see that. Again, any help would be much appreciated. Any, any is that uh, have uh, done the uh, high voltage, uh, low amperage setup. I would uh, really, really like to uh, get a bit of info on that. But. <laughs> I really uh, get stand stuff now. Um, do a lot more reading through the patents. Uh, although my printer's cropped out and I'm having to uh, have four or five windows open at once and try and go back and forwards between them. Where if I had it printing out on on paper, uh, it would be much easier. I have a few printers there and it's just just getting around to get one sorted. I did. I did put a video up there a couple of days ago, but uh, I didn't know that you're only allowed 15 minutes, and I I put up 21 minutes, so it refused to play. And I know that know that for again. Uh, another thing I was looking at uh, was a self resonating circuit, which uh, did not require any. Um, Oh, what do you call it? Pulses, modulators, didn't need anything like that. 
Um, I might have a look at that, although it's, it's probably end up, it's going to distract me from from what I need to do. Uh, the minute I'm uh, reading up on the uh, computer here, studying everything I can about the the VAC, and I think I'm getting my head around it. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, fabricate one uh, and try it. Uh, should have enough wire around here, and if, if not, I can scavenge, scavenge plenty more out of uh, other stuff that, that's kicking around. Um, there's a TV in my son's room that uh, is a pretty good candidate, and I might have a go at that. Anyway, I would say this, this is my progress so far and I'll probably end up going between the HHO and the EPG um, over the next wee while so I'll keep you updated and um, let you know what's happening what will progress make uh, like, um, I think that the, the gas option inside the EPG is possibly the way to go uh, I've got my head around, around that, how, how the gas setup works, how he's bonding different uh, molecules to, to gas, how, how he's doing it, um, how it works. So, give it all a go, and that's it for now then. Okay, bye.